guys. How are you guys doing? What's happening? Please share it. What's okay? Take, take one. Hi guys, what's happening? How are you guys doing? Um, yes, as you see. I went to school with my family, my lovely, lovely, lovely cousin got married this weekend. And we had to travel for the wedding. So I'm going to insert pictures and videos to show you guys how my weekend was just to entertain you guys, okay? From this, I mean, from this hunties and uncles that you like to talk about, I know you guys have plenty of stories to talk about this matter. And I'm, the reason I'm talking about it is because did you see my dress? And I mean, just some seconds back. Did you see my dress? People had a problem with it. I kid you not. They had a problem with it. Did you tell the beauty thing that's in that dress? Wasn't it looking like one beautiful young damsel ready to get married the next day? Okay, so now my parents had a conversation and they spoke to me about it. This was a family event, they would have appreciated if I had won something, you know, just to cover up, just so that people don't start to run to run to run. But I kind of agree with them, but I kind of disagree with them also because trust me, even if I wear cover my body from head to toe, there will be a problem with it. People will talk and say, why is she covering her body? Why is she acting like an old woman? Why is she doing this? Why, 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 I began to think that everybody, everybody has those people, everybody has those people that talk unsolicitedly on your matter. We didn't bring you into this conversation, but yet you are still talking. The reason why I'm saying this is because whilst my parents were talking to me, someone also was making her own comment and talking about what I was wearing. And in my mind, I'm like, my parents wouldn't even think to talk up to your children this way. To talk to me this way. Nobody asks you for words. And it's very common in family. Now, I know that this is going to shake a lot of tables. This is me stepping on several toes. But I felt like I should put my word out there. And I understand that this has been said so many times. That people have talked about this thing so many times. But I just feel like I do not believe in being rude. I do not believe in being indecent. I do not believe in being a normal woman. You know what I mean? But I also believe that you should be comfortable in what you're wearing. And people are definitely going to talk. Now, this way, it happens in workplaces. It happens... I mean, within your friends, it happens, they talk, they just, I mean, you carry your matter to somebody else, right? And maybe, and peradventure, there's someone listening or eavesdropping into your, and now, perhaps, brings his or her own mouth into the matter. Uncle, auntie, am I talking to you? Am I talking to you? <laughs> okay, so, and the same thing goes for marriage, the pressure to get married, this, I mean, now when people ask when I'm going to get married, I'll tell them on a Saturday. Just mark all the Saturdays. I can pop out at any time and tell you I'm getting married on this Saturday. So get ready. Since you have decided to take my marriage matter on your head, get ready, okay? For getting married on a Saturday. Come on, beat me. I mean, people just talk and talk and talk. But what I'm here to tell you guys, especially our baby girls out there, okay? If you feel comfortable with that dress and you feel like your inner conviction, which is the Holy Spirit, is not 
it's not you know disturbing you about what you are wearing about the heels you are wearing about the hair you are you have on your head baby girl rock it rock it to the fullest be beautiful slay do you but do not be disrespectful that has to put out there do not be rude i mean when this when this lady was this this lady and this uncle we were talking i just she does not look okay okay so guys, yes, I want to encourage every one of every one of us to just you know do you. No, everybody's gonna talk. Everybody's gonna talk. You have, you have. For example, you you um decided to go on this project. Not everybody's gonna be fine with it, and it's very perfect. You don't need everybody to be hundred percent on your side. No, that there's a problem. People have to talk. I mean, I mean, how does the publicity go out that you're doing this? You know what I mean? So yes, so you just have to be cool with it. Be cool with it. Do not offend. Do not offend God in your actions. That's the basis. Do not offend God in your actions. Be true to who you are. But don't, you know, they're gonna talk. They're gonna talk. Everyone there. Somebody will have something. What you are saying might not put on that person. This that I'm saying right now, I'm sure if I put it out there, people are gonna disagree, which is fine. Which is fine. I'm just gonna do me. Okay. So I encourage you guys. Do you? People are definitely going to talk. Those hunkers. Those hunters, <laughs> those uncles and hunters, we surely talk. They will surely talk. But I just want you to be true to yourself, okay? This was an impromptu video, guys. I'll see you guys sometime later this week, okay? Bye, guys.